Thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode nine. I call this episode Zombie Bus. <laughs> so I'm driving the line four, line four again. And it's not quite Halloween. It's a night in October, about a few nights before Halloween. And, uh, or maybe, maybe more than, could be even several nights. But uh, every year, Portland, Oregon has a Portland zombie walk. And there'd be basically a whole bunch of drunk people dressed like zombies going from bar to bar downtown drinking. And they used to ride in uh, in, in Fairless Square. Used to have a an, uh, uh, an area in Portland where you could get on the bus and ride for free. And they, they called it Fairless Square. And they got rid of Fairless Square when I... Uh, Back in back in the day when I had you know oh what year was it? Well, I hate to say what year it was, but they got rid of Fairless Square. I was driving the bus when they did, and it, it left a whole lot of homeless people that depended on the bus to get from point A to point B without transportation. And so, but a lot of businesses and 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 the re local retailers complained that Fairless Square was, was bringing a lot of transients into downtown for free. So. Wanted to make them pay as a way to try to maybe clean up downtown. It didn't work, <laughs> but that was the theory of getting rid of Fairless Square. But enough of Fairless Square. I had a whole bunch of zombies on my bus. I had about 40, 45, 50 zombies on my bus. It was the Portland Zombie Walk. And there was about a third of them was drunk, okay? And so it was a real light, airy, fun-hearted bus ride. You know, until two ladies got on. I cannot do this story justice. The, the black lady was so black. She was almost as black as, as mine. When I say black, I don't mean just African-American. I mean, her skin was black as my headdress here. You know, if you're just listening and you can't see me, midnight black. Okay, she jet black skin. And her face was identical, swear to God, identical to a gorilla. And she was so tall that she had to dip down low to get into the bus. And so she really, at first I thought she, because it was close to Halloween. And like I said, it was almost 50 people on the bus dressed like zombies. I thought she had on a gorilla mask. And uh, until I said, well, good, uh, good evening, ma'am, how are you? And she said, I'm fine, thank you, how are you? And uh, 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 she, said, no, she said, I'm fine, I'm doing good, sis, how are you? And uh, I looked at her face, I looked good. I was like, oh, Angie, that's not a mask. Her face, is, that's her face. And I was like, ooh. And then it was a little short, petite, real short, petite white lady got on the bus behind her, a little pudgy white lady, real petite, beautiful lady. And I said, hi, ma'am, how are you? She's like, I'm fine, thank you, how are you? She got on the bus, everything was fine. Both of them had these little toddler size Halloween disposable paper cups that you can get from the Dollar Tree or Party Center or Amazon, but they had like little pumpkins on them. And you know, like just, just enough for you, like, like, like they give you the dinners for you to swish out, swish your mouth out with water and spit it out. Or, you know, it's probably like maybe four gulps of, uh, it's just a little cup, a little decorative, you know, paper cup. And they both had one, and they both said that they, they, they were coming from, I overheard them talking, and apparently they were just coming from a homeless shelter, and that's where they had got those little cups. They was like, yeah, I like the cups. I can keep the cup. I can use it again. They really were disposable paper cups. You're supposed to throw them away. You know that little waxy, filly paper cup? You know, they was acting like they was something real big and special, so they was some really, you know, down on their luck, broke women. <laughs> I almost called them broke bitches. <laughs> He's saving a Dollar Tree paper cup, you know. It's a big ordeal. So anyway, <laughs> they started arguing 
the little petite white lady, first of all, got up. And she was on her phone and she was, they both were drunk. And she was, and, and she got up and she was on her phone and, she, and then she fell back down and she accidentally stepped on the black lady's cup. She had taken her little cup and she had set hers down the, on the, on, on the, on the floor of the bus. Why? I don't know. But the, the white lady had accidentally stepped on it. And she's like, you stepped on my cup, bitch. Give me my cup. And uh, uh, the, the lady picked up the cup and she threw it. And uh, the white lady picked up the cup and she threw it. And so then the black lady got up and said, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. And she bounded on her chest like this, like Tarzan. And she went, oh, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. Oh. And I looked back. And I pulled the bus over. You know, I, I immediately pulled the bus over to the next bus stop, put the four-way flashers on, and put on the emergency brake. And I and I looked back, and uh, the little white lady was not afraid or anything, y'all. And, and the, the the bus, did I tell y'all, had about fifty zombies on it. They busted out laughing when she did the Tarzan and started beating on her chest and going, oh, they oh they died. The zombie the zombie people on the bus died laughing. And so, anyway, so she said, bitch, you ain't gonna beat my ass, you big black gorilla-faced bitch. I'll beat you down. And I, and me and everybody on the bus, mouth was like this, y'all. Because she wasn't even afraid of this woman. This woman, like I said, this woman was so huge, she had to dip to come down into the bus. And she was frightening. I was scared of her. She looked just like a gorilla. And she was beating her. I was afraid. She's like, I'll beat your ass. And she's like, you little white bitch, I'll kill you. I'll kill everybody on this bus. And I and I and I looked back and I said, hey ma'am, you need I, I, before I could even say anything, she said, bitch, bus driver, I'll kill you too. And I said, no, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the bus now. You're making us very uncomfortable. You're gonna have to leave the bus or I or I'm calling the police. She said, it's not fair for you to call the police for me to get off the bus. I should have to get off the bus until she gives me my cup. And I, and she should have to get off the bus too. She's like, bitch, I'm not giving you nothing. I'm not picking up that cup. She's like, pick up my cup or I'm going to beat your ass. She said, I'm not picking up nothing. I said, and I snapped, y'all. I lost. I said, look, give her her cup. She's obviously been stepped on and pushed aside and, and disrespected most of her life. And, to get this upset over something as small as a cup, obviously this woman's been pushed around and she's not going to be pushed around anymore. And she snapped. I said, can't you just give her the cup? And you was wrong for throwing the cup on the floor, yada, yada, yada. So the white lady picked up the cup and then she threw it at the black lady and it landed in her chest. And then it, 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 it bounced off her chest and, and hit the floor. And so she, oh, 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 bitch, you did that on purpose. I'm going to beat your ass. And then the zombie people, oh, 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 bust out laughing. And it just, it just, it just was, a, it was just a loony, toony night. And so anyway, I, I, I said, I, I asked the lady, I said, give her her cup and went through that whole rigmarole again, that whole routine again. Give her her cup. And, and she picked up the cup and she threw it and the lady caught it. And I said, you still need to leave the bus because you, you know, was acting, uh, threatened me and, and I no longer feel safe. And, and you've interrupted the service and you threatened other customers, uh, the other passengers, albeit they were zombies, but you threatened the other passengers and you made them feel unsafe and you need to go. And they were, dr oh, they was drunk. And uh, uh, she said, uh, 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 I said, oh, no, I said, you need to go. I'm going to call the police. And then, and then it's like, and I know you're not going to believe me, but it was like she floated out the bus. She just, she didn't even walk. She it was like a ghost. She floated out the bus. And then I was getting ready to turn the door and close the door. I felt so relieved because I thought she was going to hit me or something. And when I get ready to close the doors, she had turned and she turned and her arm got caught in between the doors. It's got this rubber strip in between the two glass doors and the two doors closed. The two doors closed on her arm and she was going, ah, ah, and she dropped her cup that she had in her. She dropped a cup that she had in her hand, y'all. And I was like, and you never, y'all don't know how bad I wish I didn't, how afraid I was. I didn't want to open the door because I knew this woman was going to kill me. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to close the door on this woman's arm. This woman's going to kill me. I should leave y'all hanging right there. 
and not tell y'all the rest of the story to the next episode, but I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Nah. So anyway, I ended up opening the door, and she said, uh, I need my cop bus driver. And you, no, 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 she said, first you come out, you come, come push my arm in the door, bus driver. I said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? Are you all right? She said, yeah, I'm all right, but I need my cup, bus driver. And then the white petite lady jumped up and got the cup and she threw it. And it, and it hit, the, and, it, and it bounced off the, uh, bounced on the sidewalk and rolled on the sidewalk. She's like, you bitch. And she bent over and turned around to get her cup. And I'm a punk. I closed the doors and used that as my opportunity to close the doors and roll off. <laughs> I still did. But yeah, that was my zombie bus. The Portland zombie walk bus night. <laughs> it wasn't quite Halloween. It was a few days before, a few, few days or either or several days before Halloween. Oh my God, they talk about people keep Portland weird. You see that on bus stop signs. You see it on stickers. You see it on, on, on signs on people's front yards. You see it inside of people's car windows. That, that little yellow keep Portland weird sign. You ain't got to keep Portland weird, y'all. Portland is weird all by itself, unkept. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching episode nine. That was Zombie Bus. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. And subscribe now if you haven't already. And share the video, y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.